All right, Kryptonauts, today I am going to switch uh, Raptorium mining pools. I have a couple rigs on flock pool right now. We can go look at that real quick. Let's show you those. You know, a couple uh, Ryzen 5s and I think a Ryzen 3, I can't quite remember, is uh, on that pool right now. I had Ryzen 9 3900s on here. I moved those over to O11 data and they are getting better performance on this uh, pool. So I'm going to keep those puppies here for now. Uh, still that rig seven is the lowest one and I think it's the memory. So I'm going to order two more of that CL14 DDR4 with 30, is it 3600 memory and see if that's the case because these two have the CL14 memory. And in another video, I wrote it, you know, talked about all that, what that means. That may be what's going on here. So let's uh, let's leave these here for now. Let's go to flock pool. I think we're going to move six over. That is a Ryzen five uh, CPU. Yeah, we'll do that. And I just saw this guy. I was on here before, and I was on 11, oh, 11 data before. It dropped off at API errors, but that's just the growing pains. Uh, what I want to try, what I like about, um, I don't even know how to say it, Mina, Mina Facil <laughs> is a 0% fee, and they're actually above 011 data in the rankings right now. So there you go. Look at that. So And they keep creeping up more, too, so there must be something going on there. I will run XM Rig on this. I'm running XM Rig on over 11 data right now and I'm running CPU minor GR and you're paying those fees you're paying 1.75 you're paying 1% plus a dev fee and there's something else in there when you start it up you see all the dev the, all the fees going out it's like wow it's getting expensive yeah but over 11 data you'd pay the 0.5% and XM rig is my minor of choice on that guy uh, let's go ahead and do it so you're gonna go with me through this and um, I've done it before, like a week or so ago, but I totally forget how I did it. But I figured wouldn't. I figured it'd be an interesting video just to go through it, straight through without editing it, and just see how I uh, see if I can get it going. And maybe you guys can learn too. I'm sorry, a lot of people. A lot of people kind of ask, uh, how do you switch pools and which miners do you pick? La la la. Yeah, I really don't know. I mean, I just watch other people and I learn from others, and then I try it and say, oh, yeah, that worked. All right, so let's do this. Um, where are we sitting? Let's go to my rig six. My right, rig six. The reason it's play is smaller because I'm running headless and I'm remoted in, so I don't have the luxury of a lot of resolution. So right now we have CPU miner running. There she is running away. I'm and it's running on flock pool. Just for proof. <clears throat> Let's kill it. Control C. All right. Let's go see what I got. It's hard to get around. There we go. I will find this. I want this PC. There's my miners folder. CPUs, Raptorium. Oh, I am going to grab the latest puppy. I'm going to grab 6.16.2. Why? Because why not? Let's go do it. Where is my browser? I have a bookmark. Download. Kablamo 6.16.2. Let's get it. And it always gives you this warning. I understand. Show me the link. Download it. It's going to complain. Show me. Oh, it's blocked me. So, what I do, probably a couple ways to do this. I just go show all. Kablamo. Keep that dangerous file, baby. Keep it. Okay, show in folder, la la la, show in folder, let's unzip it, I just click on it, and it zipped up, so I am using this guy, what is this app, oh my god, I wish I remembered, RAR, WinRAR, right? Uh, 
WinRAR. That is the app I use. And I just closed it. Now hold on. There it is. It was up. Extract to. And let's go put it in my nice little mining folder. Da, 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 da. Come on, buddy. Miners. CPU. Laptorium. And I think I'm hoping it's going to create the 16.2 directory for me. I think it does. Yeah, I think it does. All right, yeah, let's tab through. All right, I have to tab because this resolution's all screwed up. All right, let's hope this worked. This is old school. <laughs> I'm doing it with a small screen. Oh my god. Yes! We actually have a win. <clears throat> we actually have a win. So, what we have over here are the default files. What I do quick before I forget, I do uh, properties. Properties. Compatibility. Kablamo. Let's make this run as administrator. see if that does it all right let's verify trust but verify I'm on this screen here yes we're good to go all right so what I'm gonna do here's Ghost Rider let's I'm gonna go grab my earlier one just because I hate cut and paste in this wallet crap so 16.1, let's go to my previous version, and let's grab the the 011 data one and bring it over. Copy. Oh yeah, there's flock pull. I was using XM rig with flock pull as well, just playing around. It works. So let's do this. 16.2, paste. There, there it is. Let's rename this. Oh, I forgot what this thing is called. Sorry. Oh my God. Min, min, uh, min a v a c f a c i l. Min a f a c i l. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Slower with uh, one hand here. M I N A F A C I L. And return. Okay, let's edit this. So this is pointing to the Raptorium. Raptorna, sorry. The O11 data. So I think everything else should be good to go. Let's change the rig name. I think it's rig six, right? right? Yeah, I want six. So I just changed the name. Password's all the same. Wallet is the same. We just have to change the URL and the port and the stratum. Or probably just the URL and the port. How do you do that? All right, here's what you do. Make sure I get this right. Where is it? Let's go up to the... Let's go up to the old mining pool stats. Let's click on the Minifacil, whatever you call it. All right, they have a nice little URL builder here. Most, most of these pools don't. So this is kind of sweet. So you pick your stratum location, North America, the coin, I'm not doing solo. You put in your wallet address. Oh, let me just go do that. Well, you know what? I don't really care. I already have my 
You can put your wallet address in, it'll generate for you. So it looks like the main pool and the backup pool, the, oh, they even have an SSL pool. So what should I use? Should I use the SSL pool? You know what? I'm gonna use the SSL pool, right? And there's a backup pool. That's a good question. Do I wanna use the SSL pool? Yeah, let's try it. So everything's AGR-O. And I think AGR-O, so we just gotta change this part. All right, let's do that, dash O. And then I wanna see if the SSL works. All right, let's copy that. And it's dash U dash P O, oh, it's a little different. Let's grab the whole stratum. Let's grab that too. They're putting a, a coin on there. They're specifying the coin. A dash GR dash O. Let's go back over A dash GR O. And we're just going to replace this. All right. And I'll stick my wallet thing in there. So I can just really take this off. I don't think order matters. Let's see if there's anything else. Right. So this gets confusing. So I did it the hard way. Let's do it the easier way. Just so you don't have any typos. Let's just grab my wallet. Oh, come on. Copy. Let's go back over. And I'm going to stick my wallet in here. There's my wallet. Put my worker name in here. Let's copy. Let's go back. Where is it? Might as well show you. Oh, geez. <laughs> if I keep the camera on the right spot. I'm gonna paste my worker name in there and the rig name. So we got North America, Raptorium, Solo No, my wallet address, my rig name six. And let's click that. There we go. It fills it all out for you. Look at that. Okay, that's sweet. Let's just grab this whole line. I'm gonna do SSL, like I said. Oh, Jesus. Copy. Go back here. Let's get rid of all that. Shift end, backspace, and paste. And let's check it out. Same kind of mess I made here. All right. C Raptorium P Rig 6. My username with the wallet. The secure pull. And that should do it, folks. And I got it named up here. And let's save it. And I'm in the right directory, 16.2. I just minimize that. Oh, I always do date modified, so I know the most recently. I can see the newest at the top, because that's what I touched. And did I kill the other one? Yes. All right, let's... um. Let's start it out. I just do right click. Right click, run as administrator. Let's see what happens here. I don't know, guys. It's pretty nervous. All right. Again, sorry for the font, but I'm remoted in without a, on a headless motherboard. And this is what you get. You can't set the resolution when you're networked in without a GPU or installed. All right, what are we doing? I'm trying to read ahead here. It's XM rig, of course, I verified that. They want donations. <laughs> Saves your configuration. 
And let's see, MSR register value Ryzen 17H preset have been successful, set successfully. All right, threads 12. And what did it say, XMBrig 16.2, permission granted. Ryzen 5, 3600, six core processor. That's what this guy is. And the memory was, I'm scrolling backwards here in case you're getting vertigo. Memory 3.3, 7.9 gig, 43%. MSI is the motherboard. It picks, I love all that stuff. It picks all that crap up. And now we're running. And I ooh, should make sure it does not echo your, oh, it does, all right. I always confirm, confirm the command line if it echoes it. That's my command line. Confirm your wallets, right? Because they did echo that. Because remember, I just ran the batch script, batch script and then this echoed out. That's my wallet, that's my rig, that's RTM. The pole looks right. It's uh, SSL. Uh, just scroll, yeah, it is. TCPS, secure SSL, okay, good. I prefer SSL. Any, any extra level of security you get is the better. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's a good practice. But let's see how it affects anything, it shouldn't matter. So I'm gonna let this rip this really wasn't as bad as I thought. The hardest part is just cut and paste and knowing your wallet, your rig, and uh, this site makes it easier. Ah, if I go to the right site. This is uh, pull, metafasol.com, and that is the how to mine with pull. It tells you, you can go ahead and set it up. And then they go over here and give you some stats. Oh, what's happening? Click on the pool. Let's see what's going on. Just click around for a minute. Raptorium, very bare bones gooey, you know, old school looking. But hey, that's all. I don't care. As long as, it gives, as long as it gives me the information, I like this. It's like an engineer's gooey. So you can see what's happening here. Difficulty levels right there. Got some confirmations. There's the pool hash rate, kilo hash right there. Pretty wild, man. All right, let's see. And if we go back to this guy, mining pool stats, I'm gonna refresh. Where are you? So it's still four. And we're looking at 0% on the fees. Big difference, like I said, from that, plus the dev, dev fees, which comes to 1.5, 1.75 sometimes. What else? Oh my God, 10. So yeah, this thing is definitely pulling ahead of 011 data and um, hash rate. So something's going, maybe it's a 0%. Maybe they got smart, so let's go zero, attract some miners and get this guy rolling. Uh, the only weird thing, the only thing here is that, yeah, Raptorium's down from, used to be at 04, 05 cent, maybe a week or two ago. Now it's half of that. You can see, woo, nice little, Nice little decline there. So this just shows you how I switched the pools. You know, I'm using three pools right now. Flock pool, 011 data, and the uh, Minifasu. I can't even say it, sorry. And um, you can see that, oh, the difficulty is going up. Here's a difficulty chart. That is going up. Now, the other question you may ask is, is this really profitable to mine? <laughs> Uh, I can't answer that. I really don't know. You don't know if the coin's going to go up or it's going to go to zero. You have no idea. Uh, you, it's part of the game. It's part of the part of the uh, gambling. You can speculation. You could say it's a new. It's it's kind of new. New pools are coming out. This is all new, and it, yeah, it could go up. I mean, it goes back up to 0 .08, 0.08 cents. That'd be great. Uh, it, yeah, you're working in pennies here, you know, versus dollars and thousands of dollars like Bitcoin. So I don't know what it's going to do. I'm just doing it because you can do it and you can get some decent hash and start stacking some coins. Stack those coins. You know, I'm trying to, trying to adjust my investment strategy in that. I stack and hold and stack and hold. But when it's a good time and everything's up and markets are high, you got you to gotta learn and be disciplined and take some profits. Take those profits. You can either pay some bills, pay off some mining equipment, or hold it, and when it uh, drops back down like it did here, you buy back into this, or you buy Bitcoin. I mean, that, that, that's like compounding investing. You're going up, take some profits off the table, leave some in there in case it goes to the moon, and you, you, that way you won't miss out. You take some out, you left some in, 
Uh, I did that with Tesla. I had um, some bucks in Tesla. It, I had all-time highs a couple weeks ago. Then Musk started to talk about selling Tesla stock. And I go, oh, God, he's going to tank it. I wish, he would, I wish he would keep his mouth shut. He didn't. I decided to sell my um, cost, my base investment amount. And I just was now playing with the house money. So all the profit I had with Tesla, I just let out there. And I got my money back. And now what's out there riding is the uh, profits I had. And I'm, I'm trying that approach now. And it seems to take a lot of stress off. Because you know you got your original cost basis back. And uh, the house money, uh, the, the winnings are uh, out there playing right now, playing in the game. And I took that money now the cost basis and i bought some nvidia so because nvidia has just been on a tear i kind of was mm, i don't think i bought it all time high i bought a little lower and i put a couple bucks in and i'm just watching it so i just want to keep an eyeball and maybe this one's gonna be a short term or if it goes up nvidia i might just get some profits again try to just instead of these long-term holds i've been doing it just exhausting sometimes because I tend to ride it up to the top, and I ride it right back down. And what does that get you? Nothing but stress. But, uh, yeah, so this investment strategy, is it worth it? <laughs> a long-winded answer. I don't know. You, only you can decide. You can just start stacking some of these coins and see where it goes. You can always go to zero. You can lose everything, you know, or you can gain some money, or you can not do anything and just go about your day. <laughs> so there we are. Let's go back and look at this. Rig six. Rig sixer. Da -da. Oh, I can't tell if we got any. We got some stat lines coming out now. It's only been a few minutes. You got to give it a while, folks. But um, yeah, so we're showing we're showing 10 seconds, 60 seconds, 15 minute stats. Obviously, it hasn't been any of those. I mean, it's been 60 seconds, but it hasn't been 15 minutes. So 49.57, 49.55. So it's about there. Let's see, 49. Right, let's go back over here. I took so here's what happens on flock pool. I mean, I admit Flockpool has the best UE of the Corruptorium miners, and it is nice, and you get to set your payout, you know, some amount of 500. Um, but uh, it's cool when it shows you that that's your hash rate now, and because uh, you basically pulled it offline. So that kind of, I'll, I'll jot down now. My average was one kilo hash, 1.02 on the Ryzen 5. And we'll keep an eye on this guy as time goes on to see how he performs over time on this pool. So there you go. That's all I got. Little little video on how you switch miners and then how you keep an eyeball on it to see if it performs well. And I don't know. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. But on Flock Pool, I had my other Ryzen 9 3900s in here. And I saw their average and I saw the current and I watched them over a day. I pulled them offline, put them on 011 data, and I look at these over a couple of days, and I say, man, these numbers are not quite double, but almost double. I mean, they're, it's amazing. I mean, not double on this. Well, maybe, close. Maybe 75% better on this pool. Man, I, know, I might be reading it wrong, but I look, I'm looking at the averages comparing to what was on Flock Pool, and uh, it's pretty interesting. So I'm, I'm a believer now that maybe some of these other pools you can do better. Plus, if you're getting better performance at a lower fee, that's a, that's a double win, right? So now we can see if this, uh, this pool comes through with like 0% fee and uh, see, if it's a, see if it performs the same as flag pool, a flag pool. Flock pool, if not better, than uh, oh, oh, 011 data. I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you messed around with this stuff? I know it gets a little tedious and... Do you have time to do it? But I just figured I'm going to try this because I want to. I just want to dial stuff in because I realize by dialing in, you, I mean being efficient, it'll pay off in the end. You're just why waste electricity and time when you can get these things, play around for like a couple hours a day, figure out what works best, come back the next day and say, no, this pool is not giving me what I want. I'm going to switch over to this pool. I know that's the way I think. What do you guys think? All right, I'm going to go find that dog, take him out. Man. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody. Uh, it's good for me to do these videos because it uh, helps me understand what I'm doing by talking it out. And, of course, then I have it recorded so I can go back and refer to it. Because if you ask me next week what I did, I'm going to say, I don't know. I don't remember. You know, I think the hardest part, like I said, was going here and finding out this thing right there. Put it, What to put in the URL. But this site's nice. 011 data wasn't so easy. You had to go dig for it. 
and then their port was listed here, but it wasn't like as cute as this and nice and easy as intuitive. All right. All right, guys, go forth, do great things. I'm out.